Hey, you guys. So today I'm planning the steps I took to get into Barbados. Right now I'm at my hotel quarantining. But okay, so the first step is basically in Boston, I had to arrive to the airport with my negative COVID test results and my travel form. I did a lot of running around, like last minute, make sure everything's right. I, I even went to pick up my COVID test results on paper. All right, and I had my god sister print out my travel form for me. So the guy there, he asked for your passport. No, he asked for your negative COVID results and your travel form. You have to fill out a travel form before you leave America. So. He was like, okay, you're all set. I went through the line. that. Proceed on. I went to TSA. I, basic TSA stuff. I, I had a ring light, so I had to take my ring light out. Did that, got through, whatever. Boarded a plane. There was th three in a row, right? I was the middle, but nobody came here. So I just moved here so we could social distance, you know? All right, land in Charlotte, my plane. I get to the plane, like, I was kind of late. I wasn't late because the plane, it was out. They were boarding group nine. That's what happened. They were boarding group nine. All right. I go to, like, just scan my boarding pass. She said, no, can you come around here? Can I see your COVID test results, your passport, and your travel form? Hand it to her. She said, sign your passport. I signed it, whatever. And she's like, all right, you're all set. Finally get to Barbados. <laughs> I can't look in Barbados. I can't look in Barbados. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Now here's where the games begin. Because I spoke to my grandfather. He's like, oh, don't come. There's 12 stops you have to make in the airport. This, that. And I understand. But before even leaving Boston, you have to build, you have to fill out the BIM Safe app. which is an app specific for Barbados that has your travel form, your passport, all the information you need in there. It gives you a QR code. So when you get to the airport, it's just scan, 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 scan. All right. So I get off the plane. They put you on a little shuttle bus. <laughs> The, like the beginning like the way you walk in to the airport all right there's two sides one that says if you do not have your pcr test one that says if you do but basically if you were able to board the plane you have to have your pcr test so i get in line i'm hot i have a hoodie that freaking clear mask i don't know who, okay you want the clear mask when i tell you your hot breath makes your hairline sweat <laughs> don't do it get glasses and then get the mask you know i get to the people that are checking your pc like your paperwork PCR test. so this one was mine and it says to whom it may concern this letter confirms that kai tested negative for covid 19. okay and it, it says the type of test i took and it says negative so the dude that I'm showing the test, he says, you don't have like the, the actual results. And I'm like, I have the app that they send my information through and I'm trying to get the, the Wi-Fi at the airport. I'm like, oh my gosh, not to freaking day because I'm already on the island. All right, I open the app, he's scrolling. He's like, there's no more, he's scrolling. He gets down, it says, this test is like a screen, a, some, some type of test. And he's like, well, this looks like a rapid test. How long did you wait for the results? I said, like, 40 hours. He starts to Google the type of test. He was like, well, we're going to have to do more research into this. I'm like, oh, freaking man. And I got to go. He let me go. 
and you get to somebody that hands you the red wristband. This red wristband says, welcome to Barbados. Stay safe at your hotel or villa. You're not supposed to take this off because this basically states that you are in quarantine. You cannot leave your room at all, at all, at all. You can walk onto your balcony, nowhere else. Right. So you walk past there, then you get to the entrance of the airport. Some people stop you right there. They say, wash your hands, sanitize my, sanitize my hands. They say, do you have um, the BIM safe app? I say, yes. I proceed through the line. Another person asked me, do you have the BIM, BIM safe app? Can you show me um, the, the travel form? The travel form basically has this cute QR code on it. It says Barbados. This is the online ED form receipt with the travel code, everything. So they scan that. Then they say, they ask your name. You said, yes, that's my name. They say, okay, um, where are you staying? I told them the South Gap Hotel. All right. You're all set. On to the next person I go. I walk through and they hand me this wristband. Now this wristband is the tracker. Wherever you go, this knows you cannot take this off. So I get, they hand me this, I go to the next dude. Now the next dude says, hi, I'm welcome to Barbados. Um, do you have the BIM Safe app? Yes. All right, open it up. I'm gonna need you to connect to the Wi-Fi in the airport, the BIM safe Wi-Fi in the airport. Turn on your Bluetooth and turn on the Wi-Fi. Then he says, okay, on there, I want you to open your traveler's account and I need you to scan this. Explain it to me. On that app, I will be recording my temperatures twice a day between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. And for the second um, thing is 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So you're gonna record those results for seven days. Even if you're not quarantining anymore, whatever, you can record those results. Got that information, he's like, okay, you're all set. I want you to walk down to, I believe it was immigration. Yes, all right, I get to the woman. She's like, can you show me your passport? She asked me for the travel for How long are you staying? Where are you staying? And um, when are you leaving? Do you have something stated when you're leaving? So I had to go on the, the American Airlines app and show her my flight going back. She's like, all right. All right, she said me true. And then I go to a next person. The next person says, you have the BIM safe app. You scan the QR code and she said, you're all set. You're just gonna, um, I forgot to tell you guys, they gave me a paper on a plane that basically was saying um, my name, how long I'm staying, where I'm staying, where I live and me signing that I don't have any like basically symptoms. All right, so after she sent me long, a man, a red cap was like, you need help with your bags? And I said, yes, please. He said, all right, go around and meet me at the end. All right, I go to the next woman and give her the paper that I got on the plane. That, yeah, I got on a plane that I filled out on the plane. I get up, I give it to her. She's like, oh, what flight are you on? She filled that out. And then I went to another desk. I get, mind you, the airport don't look as big as Logan. Like it's 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 not big. Mm -hmm. So I get to the next, like the, the steps are just zoo, 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 zoo. well. So she gives me back that paper. I give it to the woman at the desk. Now she you staying, gives me this paper, which is the instructions for quarantine. And this is the well, this is the instru instructions for quarantine. This is where you're going to take down your temperature and the times you take your temperature for the seven days okay she said um you will be taking your next covid test on the 11th so basically i think i'm supposed to call downstairs to schedule one i don't know if i feel like paying for a test or if i feel like um just going to the government facility and waiting because I, they say, oh, if you pay for your test results, there's no guarantee you'll get your, like, it's going to the same lab. Da, 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 da. I don't want to waste my money. You get me? All right. So, the red cap brings me outside. Can you just me that it's and he 
basically brings me to a taxi. There's a woman standing there. There's a sign that says all the hotels and the prices you will pay. It says it in Barbados money, in Barbados dollars. So um, my hotel wasn't on there. So I went, walked up to the woman. Matter of fact, before the red cap walks me out, there's another booth. Oh, she wants proof of ID. Show her my license, where you stand, walk out. Like they ask the same questions over and over again, which is fine. But you get outside, the whole taxi thing, she gave me a receipt. She said it'll be $31 Barbados, so $16 America. So, um, that was to South Gap Hotel. It was probably like t 10 minutes away. So, um, I get in the car. He packs up my bags. I get in the car. And I was like, do I give you one of these? He was like, give me the pay the guy. Um, he takes out my bags. I pull them up, up to the, like, in the hotel. The woman says, set them aside. Um, I need you to wash your hands. Your temperature. You lean up to this thing and take your temperature. All right, you get to the desk. They ask for your temperature. They write it on the paper. They ask for your, pass, your, your passport number, your name. Um, I think it was like signing away that you, whatever, whatever, signing away, whatever. You can get to a hotel, whatever. But you have to pay a tax. Like, aside from paying for your hotel room, you have to pay a tax. So my tax was 61 Barbados dollars. So I get that back and somebody comes and they bring my bags to the hotel room. They give me the key, off that. So I actually do give you this paper at the front desk and it tells you, you know, you're quarantining, you cannot leave your room, you cannot go to the, whole, the, the restaurant, you can't go to the pool, none of that. Um, they sell thermometers downstairs, but I bought one from Five Below for $5. So you cannot remove your wristband. There's no visitors allowed. You can go to your balcony. If you want to talk to front desk, you have to call down security. You call down cleaning. You call down maintenance. You call down garbage bags um, are provided. There's a lot of like all the contact information, deliveries. You would just have to have the person whoever's delivering something for you, put your room number and your name on the bag. You can order food online for delivery. Lunch ends early, dinner ends early. And then the last page, they tell you like the fees you will be charged if you damage anything and then the hotel um, Wi-Fi. So that's basically the steps I took to get to Barbados and to get into my hotel room. It wasn't bad at all, in my opinion. I was through the airport within like 10 minutes. But um, one of the guys, the, the driver actually told me like, it, it takes people about an hour to get through. So I was shocked, but that was nothing. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this quarantine process isn't too bad for me. I had booked my hotel for a week. Before, it was way shorter, but now you have to book for more than five days because your second test is taken on the fifth day, and you have to wait for those results. So hopefully, pray, pray, pray that I get out on day seven. Um, so I hope you like this video. I hope it was informative enough. I hope you don't, like, not want to come to Barbados because it's that Because right now, I'm in... I, and I don't even watch TV at home. I get to watch TV. I brought all my snacks, so I'm pretty good. So hopefully you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will be back with my day one, day two, day three. All the way on till I get out of this hotel. So thanks for watching. Bye.